All right, check, check, one, two, one, two, we in the building, we in the building, we in the building. What, are, what, are, what it is, what it is, what it yeah, is. Yeah, today I'm hype, I'm hype, I'm hype. What's, what's up? Because for the first time, when <laughs> I ask you guys about your weekends, you're going to tell me about your weekends, mm-hmm. and then I can tell you about my weekend. For the first time. No, you should out. start. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> You should definitely start. It with, you want me to start? With, yeah, what happened right. with your weekend? Um, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah. This is Podcast With No Name, a.k.a. Puan. For breakfast. for breakfast. Pawn for breakfast, yes. Yes, sir. So that's, that's the name you're going to be seeing a lot. Pawn for breakfast. So if you know and you are here from day one, you know we're still podcast with no name. We just can't write it down because of, you know. Yeah, we yeah. don't want to get in no trouble. In trouble. Yeah, so in the future we'll find a, a way to deal with it. So, mm-hmm. my weekend, mm-hmm. yes, I sir. missed our game. Arsenal was playing and I missed the game. Were you on a date? Like... No. I know. What could have possessed you exactly. to miss a game? No. <laughs> uh, there was some money to be got somewhere okay. outside. Ooh. So I went to get some money. Yay, so we rich? <laughs> no, really. It's, it's not that kind of money. It's hey, just, daddy. It was just enough money to make rent me sleep. Rent is due. Yeah, rent was due. Just enough to make me get out of the house yeah. and miss the game. So I get a call uh, on Saturday, Saturday night. Like, uh, there's something we're doing that needs some audio engineers, blah, blah, blah. Can you pass by? So I was like, yeah, cool, cool, no problem. I'll stop by. What time? Uh, they told me the time. Oh, I think I saw you posted something. Yeah, so they yeah. told me the time. I got there. You know, you, usually me, I don't, I'm not late. Yeah. I show up like a couple of minutes before time. So I showed up and then gave them a call. The person who hooked me up with the, with the gig wasn't there. So they were like, oh my God, I'm not there. So I don't know how you're going to, because it was at an, an apartment. I don't know how you're going to get there. Let me find somebody who is there that can help you out. So he found uh, the person, gave me the number. So he called me and told me, yeah, I call this number. The guy is called Rama. Um, you know, he'll show you <laughs> where to go. Mm-hmm. Like, cool. So I called, talked to Rama. Voice sounds Familiar. I knew I, I I knew who you were talking about because now I think we I were know. talking okay. about that nigga last week. Okay, yeah, okay. that's his actual name. So really, okay, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, this sounds familiar, but it's all good. It's all good. Let's go. I call him. He tells me he's showing up in the next seven minutes. So I wait. Seven minutes pass. Ten minutes. Fifteen minutes. Uh, and then the the, the the car showed up. Then I'm seeing him like, oh. Did you tell him we talked about it? Oh, I'll relax. Okay. <laughs> oh, did he pull up? Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Give it to me. Wait, what's the juice? No, uh-huh. so the thing is, I was like, oh, shit. That's him. I was like, oh, nice. Okay, so cool. Let's, uh, so I find it's Ramsey. Of course. So, like, what's up? Nini, nini. Uh, let me show you the place. So we went upstairs. So uh, this time, because what I was going to shoot, I didn't know if he was involved. So if it's like a podcast or whatever, I don't know if he's involved. So I don't want to tell him anything about our shit and fuck up his mood. Mm-hmm. So we're like, I go upstairs, do my setup, do the whole thing. They do their, their thing, they record, uh, finish at around maybe 9 p.m. or so. Then I was like, hey, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Because the thing is, in whatever they were recording, they might have touched on a few things according, like, you know, how... He uh, handled the yeah, situation. How, yeah, how he handled the situation mm-hmm. and how social media has been on his back. Mm-hmm. So when he's saying how social media has been on his back, I'm like, yeah, we're part of that. We, <laughs> <laughs> we're part of Did that. Did you tell him? No. After the show? Mm-hmm. Yeah, after the show, I was like, yeah, you're probably going to see this somewhere. <laughs> but we we got on your ass, pause. <laughs> <laughs> It's like what? Like yeah, we we do. Okay. Yeah. So, so he knows. He knows. He knows. I'm sure he by now he's watched it. But yeah. So he was like yeah. By so the, was he apologetic about how he handled the situation or what? Like I think I can't I can't go into that because then I'll be. Did you sign an NDA? No. Like why are you? He you, didn't. They, yeah. They, he said he didn't even get protecting? paid enough to like last him a whole year. So what what's that? No no no, you will you will see. It. There's something coming up. You will see it. You will see it. 
I mean, I oh, you we already have the exclusive yeah, material. I can't, yeah, I, I can't so yeah, I can't I can't okay, say until okay, the material okay, okay. is released. I'm All not right. that type of guy. Okay. You could have just said yes or no right? and then no. like moving yeah, on I, swiftly. You will watch when it comes out. Okay. When you see something with drama on it, just watch. You might enjoy it. <laughs> You will enjoy I don't. It. I don't know if I'm I swear you will enjoy. It. I promise you, you will enjoy. It. <laughs> I promise you, you will All right. enjoy. It. So, but did you yeah. like recording it? I, 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 yeah, it was good. Fun. It okay. Was, it was fun. It was fun, and yeah, it was really good. Got yes. to meet a few people. Got to know um, a few things we can do with our shit mm-hmm. uh, in terms of like uh, venues for recording, because uh, that venue was like really. Not that expensive. Mm. Yeah, we can actually use it. Okay. Yeah, so whenever we have like an interview, I think we might have to hit some people up and see if we can use that. It's it's a really tough place. Okay. So yeah, that was my weekend. So okay. I, I get to meet people we talked about on the, on on the podcast. You meet new people when you leave your house for a weekend. Yeah, I met new people. Imagine. Yeah. N- imagine what could happen. Too. If you I mean, see, you would have been single too. if you were outside. So <laughs> anybody coming to find you inside the crib. Hey, listen. You know? Hey, yeah. listen. I'm not looking. I'm <laughs> but yeah, how was your weekend? Uh, I had a good weekend. Mm. Uh, Saturday night, that gig I was telling you about, yeah, that happened. Popped off. Especially because Saturday was such a full night. Everything was happening all over the city. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you did come through... And you kicked it. It was a boom bap click event. I was just really the host. So I was the one you were partying with. Mm. Yeah, it was fun. So, um, yeah, keep an ear out for the next one. Cool. I think I want to be involved in the next one. So I'm going to call a few people. I want to DJ a little bit. It's been a minute. I missed that shit. So how Where was did your you weekend? Stop? Huh? Um, it's, it's not, it doesn't did you ever enough. stop? I, I still do it like a hobby. Cause Privately. My, yeah, my setup is still in there. So I... So what happened to the... They don't pay enough. They don't. Yeah. This yeah, and the people who... Th- there are few people who get paid well. Then there's another tier that get paid not so well, but sometimes their money doesn't come through until like three months down the line. That's why you see DJs going into clubs, breaking things and <laughs> demanding yeah. them. I'm not going to do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Have you ever thought about a residency? I think you would do well... With a regular night weekly at some yeah which which yeah that's what i'm saying like you can do that for like three months and just you haven't been paid what yeah no you get a cut off the bar yeah or exactly yeah. that uh, or you, you agree before everybody knows like you walk in there having stated this is and before you be walk doing. out like you can do those calculations right then and there mm-hmm. you know it's not that deep that they have to be like oh give me a month to yeah, figure exactly. it out nah. no they're usually like uh come monday uh, our accounts guy will be in on Monday. And then you go in on Monday, you're told Suji who has to sign what. Suji uh, who hasn't signed what. Or oh, come next Monday. You keep going. Oh, guys, we've seen videos of people breaking yeah. <laughs> things at, at clubs yeah, yeah, and yeah. taking. I'm not going to do that. So why should I? Yeah. You know. Okay. The type of person I, I, I feel am, like we I'm can figure gonna, it out. I'm though. not gonna start. I feel like this struggle isn't people. a struggle for someone like you, right? Because you know what you're about. You know what you're gonna offer. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. For hey, sure. wait, Ruby. Yes, sir. I know you was out. <laughs> yeah, my weekend was lit, you guy. Mm. What did you do? Um, obviously, Oktoberfest was happening, and I, for one, wasn't going to miss. Mm. I, tr- I, I mean, I tried to go all three days, but damn, when you're old. Shit. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. lot. Yeah, so you can only do like one day and then miss or or do like the last two days. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. So I I went on Friday because K Shaka were performing and it was like the old school edition. Mm. And then I was like, Saturday is when the whole gang is going to be outside because it was like Brooklyn Boys, Barack Jacuzzi, Silverstone Bars. I was like, yo, Saturday is going to pop off. But yo, I'm in the crib at like 530 like dying just asleep i wasn't even hungover or anything i was just tired my body was just like "Mm -mm. Mm. i don't think i'm gonna make it outside today so friday um went out i'd say this um so the friday lineup was kalama shaka necessary noise um joa kali and friends so he brought out guys from caliph jim what was there Mm. pili pili 
In Amorale. And yeah, 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 yeah. It was like a, a good musical journey. Nice. And then Nameless got on. Oh, Habib Namanga also came out, you know. Mm. So everyone had their whole gang. It was it was pretty fun. I'd say uh, at the very beginning, Keshaka had like some problems with the sound. Mm. It was really tripping. Um, like the mics were unclear. The levels went, went okay. And no. then, I don't know, I kind of felt like uh, Joni was was kind of hushing everybody down a bit too fast. Mm. Like, Roba would be like, um, Nani and then Joni would say some shit like, Sasa yo ni swali. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I just felt like, <laughs> I, I, given, given yes, that maybe there were sound issues, mm. it felt, it almost felt like they were beefing on stage. Like, oh, really? yeah, like, you know, I, I didn't feel like it was, it was coordinated. Oh. They, they, um, they sang their track, I think, I can't remember what the title is. There's a song they did with Nikki. Um, and then Joni was like sitting all the back, uh, at the back of the stage. Then he came to the front. He's like, I'm like, didn't you guys pick out the songs together? Like, I didn't feel <laughs> like it oh. was it was as coordinated as it as it should have been it was it was playback they were the only artists of the night who didn't use a, a live band mm. which for me kind oh, of shame. felt exactly yeah. i felt like this was hip-hop's moment this was your chance be, exactly, to do it you know yeah. maybe to show why you're the, the goats and then it me. almost felt like and then you know uh journey would be like they'd sing like a song for like maybe a verse and then he'd be like moving on swiftly moving on it's like damn mm. If you guys had coordinated and decided that you were going to like only rap a verse and you know do the chorus, then the DJ would know mm. it wouldn't have to sound like you guys are planning it while yeah, on stage. Yeah. Um, I just felt like how it was the crowd because it could be the crowd that maybe wasn't receiving them well, so they thought maybe just, they need to hurry up. Yeah, hurry but up like I feel up. like as a performer, regardless of how the crowd is yeah. is taking, if the bill says an hour and a half, mm. you're gonna do the hour and a half that you practice. Unless for. somebody's throwing bottles at you, maybe. Uh, bottles at you, or they yeah, boo yeah, yeah. you to yeah. the point where you have you, to cut you, the music, you, right? Yeah, yeah. But none of that had happened. Actually, the crowd was mad that the sound wasn't uh. wasn't coming on. Great. Oh, so it was a sound thing. It was a sound thing, but also it just felt. Not coordinated exactly mm. it, 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 for for people who have like you know laid the foundation for mm. hip hop to be what it is. I honestly expected a lot, lot yeah. better than I saw. But also Didn't because no they're playback. not performing like that on a regular, so you yeah. would think that they'd be hype about okay, this is the big yes, you know, practice, exactly. They, they would take like you know. I, I, I'm pretty sure the contract didn't just come in like this Saturday. You're performing right. at Tesca, <laughs> right? Yeah. So like they've they've been knowing for a minute that this is a thing that they would do. So they had all the time in the what world, a, like regardless of whether the sound yeah. is fucked up or not, mm. we're gonna give our uh, one thousand because that's what the fans yeah. uh, also have also been waiting for for the past twenty some years, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. But then um, also, I want to say that if I was the one curating the night, I think the old school performers would have probably rocked out on Saturday, because mm. I feel like the audience that they were targeting with that old school night are people who are typically coming from work. Maybe you're tired. Mm. I can make it to the night but then saturday is a more chill day mm. you don't have work going on it I was feel like, like saturday is also too hype for like you know throwback so how many i think i thing? think they would have it was three days mm. i feel like they could have mixed them up a little bit not make friday like entirely old it's school because yeah. i felt like friday was entirely old school but then they the the it's only like you know a handful of people who actually know what jam that is yeah. whereas you know guys like me and my age group and older who would probably have enjoyed that would have been maybe more chill to come in on a saturday at two o'clock and have you okay. know whoever perform yeah, yeah, at yeah. two and then yeah. have the the new school also you know i feel like the friday the friday crowd like barack would have done great you know mm -hmm. you know guys of the new school yeah. um so but necessary noise killed the show i i really like how they bounced off of each other like even with the um the singles that they've released independently mm -hmm. like you know nazizi would back up Wire while Wire was performing something like she say that and and vice versa mm -hmm. it felt very coordinated felt it, it looked good mm -hmm. um oh i love Wire. how's he looking he's looking fine as hell oh yeah Yo. nigga still <laughs> shoe game fine like he 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 was looking well put together i was like this is what the ogs did to look like nice, Yo. nice, nice. yeah joakali was also i was backstage with joakali and he was also dripped out it, it made me feel like you know Oh. 
Did you? There's there's a generation there um, when you look at the artistry. There's a generation there that still held their own. Like they still look good because Jim was also looking still fresh even after battling his addiction and recovering. I think he's been on like his fifteenth year mm. or something sober. Wow. You know, so like seeing him out there rocking out, like it was like oh my god, this it's not all lost. You know. Okay. Yeah. Um. That was Friday. Saturday I didn't go. Shit. Uh. But that's where the shit happened. That's where everything, everything was happening happened. i was seeing i was seeing online that um yo like the security was so bad which was surprising to me because like literally when you pulled up to race course there mm. were like trucks on trucks on trucks girl of, like, i heard nightmare the, the stories yeah nightmares yeah they were saying like guys cars were broken into yeah like yo it was it was pretty chaotic on saturday mm. so i think i'm glad maybe maybe that was a sign from the universe maybe <laughs> i wouldn't have a phone right now <laughs> uh, but then sunday again i had to go on sunday because i felt like that was the night for hip-hop mm. um it was nyashinsky performing brida wangeshi there's this guy from south Sudan who performed called um, John Frog. I've never heard of him before. Mm, yeah. But I guess for him to be on a Kenyan stage, maybe it meant that he is maybe probably causing waves in South Sudan, right? Okay. Um, and who else? Calligraph also was performing. And Wakadinandi uh, performed. Let's so talk about that. Let's talk about that. <laughs> nigga, can I talk about everybody's performance? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, because um, on, on, honestly, I yeah. was thinking about like I was gonna save my ticket for Wakari Nani's performance, mm -hmm. right? Because I I know I couldn't do just like you. I, I can't do all weekend, right? Yeah. And also I had shit to do. Yeah. But I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna show up for this one. Mm -hmm. But then if like like now hearing the feedback, I'm like, uh. I had a, I'd, I'd say like Sunday was um, pretty well attended. I had fun. Um, it was cool, like the sampling the beers. I think they were a little mean with the beer samples because you get like a little tumbler. I'm like, this is. EBL. Mm. I should be getting at least a beer yeah. or two. And they've done that in previous Oktoberfest. So I felt like, well, I got to sample some shit. This whole well, place is full like of... It's a beer joint? festival. What? Is, did they have like a new beer out? That they yeah, there's a new beer. Mm. With, uh, Andimu and... It's like, okay, we don't have to advertise that. Yeah, it. exactly. It's a new beer. Yeah, yeah. So cool. there's, there's some new beers that they wanted guys to, to, to try out. But mm. then you were getting that little tumbler. And then they'd be like, you can't leave you can't, leave you can't the bottle. taste it? No, you, you had the little... Yeah, it's like... <laughs> You, you know you that shit is good just call just <laughs> <laughs> so I, I i thought that was gonna be more um in terms of performances <laughs> i caught uh a little bit of wangeshi's performance mm -hmm. um well from what i caught i could tell like it was the same set that she had performed at blankets which is okay because mm -hmm. like i felt like that was a very good set that she performed mm -hmm. yeah. um i was surprised that brida performed after wangeshi i would have thought that Breeder would have performed before Wangeshi. Was he still spearing bars? He was spearing hella bars. He was spearing bars. <laughs> so Breeder performed after Wangeshi. His was playback. Wangeshi's was a live band, which is why I felt it was kind of odd. And also, mm. his performance was was kind of short. Mm. I felt I, I don't know. I, I don't On know. On the live band thing, I, I might offer some pushback. Mm -hmm. Maybe some of the bands might have difficulty playing some of the you know, the more hip hop, because, you know, it's not really, a lot of hip hop joints are sampled by guys who probably don't have musical uh, background, mm -hmm. they can play instruments or whatever, so everything is not in key. So you give someone like Naskia to Nabonga to, to play it live, they They're might not, not be, able be able to, to pull it off, because some of them are not like, you know, well, I'm not saying like every artist needs to get on stage with like a live band. Yeah, just put um, a set. I, I feel like it, more than whatever is backing you could literally be your track. It's the yeah. showmanship and yeah. the yeah. craftsmanship, how you handle yourself on stage, yeah. talk to the crowd, you know, how you, you tell your story. I need to feel like, yeah. oh shit, I've seen some shit that it's called a show for a reason. You're, yeah. you're supposed to show me something. So yeah, right? that's, that's the one so, thing I think people need to, like people need to do more. Practice. Get yourself a set list with yeah. like uh, backups of your vocals. Mm -hmm. Like it's called a performance track. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah. some people like Akina Calligraph and Octopizo, they've mastered it. Yeah. So if you can see them, like you see what they're doing, try and emulate. And yeah, 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 yeah. But Kali did that too. Think They'll perform once a year, so they think when they too much they work. Need, yo, <laughs> and you know, it. just put a, a list together and put it somewhere on hand drive. Yeah. It becomes your backup. 
Yeah, you for sure. Yeah. It will, it it goes a long way. Yeah, you just save um, it somewhere on even on Google Drive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so whenever you're called, you already know. Like you have a week. I'm to ready practice. to go. Just exactly. Just download it. Call your boys. Let's practice. Yeah. And, you know. It was it was it was great seeing um you know Brida up on that stage. I'm, I mean, n- nothing really stood out. Mm. It, he was just solo on the stage. It didn't have dancers. Like there wasn't too much mm. activity on the stage. But like guys like his his hit songs, mm. so guys had fun. It was it was pretty crazy knowing that this was the same nigga from you know back in the day trying to figure his shit out and now rocking Spitting out bars. at yeah October first. Um, Kali was performing right after Brida. Yeah. He brought out Brida for the record Nikubaya and like it was, yo, the crowd went mm. crazy. Yeah. Kali actually, yeah, he did his thing. Guys were rocking out. Guys had fun. Yeah. Shout out to him, but I'm about to. Uh, to Kali? Yeah. What you want to say? Huh? What do you want to say? Um, so he's been making <laughs> headlines out here for the wrong reason. For the house? For the house. First of all, niggas, if you were in a Shark somewhere, and the only thing you have is Wi Fi and a phone. Stop making fun of people's houses. Mm. Stop, just stop it. I don't care if it looks like a <laughs> hospital, stop it. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, guys are crazy out here just making fun of people's houses, like, and you don't have nothing. Yeah, You're probably in your mom's bedroom, like, tweeting. We got shit. Yeah. I mean, that that's that's. The age of social media and being nah, a public no, figure. We need Everything is no, up no, no, for no, 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 no. We need discussion. To stop. We need to stop giving these guys. Uh, like, we 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 need to stop it. Every I mean, time, so, something does someone so, does something stupid. We're like, ah, it's the age of social media. It's a, no, no. I'm not stop doing this stupid. There's shit. a there's a difference between saying it's the age of social media and and making it excusable. Mm. Uh, you can't control what a nigga is going to say. They're probably even like using we, their friends' we, hotspot to we, say that shit. If we, if <laughs> we, it's still gonna be discussed, yeah. you know. But they will, they will wake up I one day and say, "I don't like the way he wears his hats." I mean, yeah. it's it, it, it is it it is what, what I'm it saying is. is what People I'm saying. will come and and say, "Oh my god, have you watched Palm for Breakfast?" I can't believe they they be talking that when they looking like that. Like, yeah. It, when you put but yourself I'm, out there, I'm, I'm saying like the reason why it keeps going is because the, of the excuses we give, mm. or it's the age of social media. So people just want to do anything for social media. This yeah. content of everything, no, some of it is trash. Leave it out. Just leave it the fuck out. It's. It, is, are you talking annoying. about the content creator or as someone who like? No, somebody who is just it. somebody who watches it and has an opinion. I don't. I don't mind people having opinions on like. Uh, other people's content mm-hmm. but when somebody builds a house and you come out shitting on it when you know you don't even own a fucking car yeah somebody yeah. has to tell Absolutely. you to stop we can't give you an excuse or oh, it's the age of, of social media mm-hmm. shut the fuck up you don't yeah. have okay you understand yeah yeah so that's all i'm saying but criticizing that's i mean that's that's part of it yeah like for i'm sure. about to start criticizing a whole bunch of things have you seen this guy called K- kai sanat yeah 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 kai sanat when he's in jail for seven days he's doing live streams in jail yeah i see carlos Miller um, yeah. said something about that so hold on wait yeah. let's let's finish with october first oh yeah yeah we, yeah. we, bad, we get bad. in my there. bad i'm uh, yeah I'm yeah, yeah 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 nashinsky had an incredible mm. fuck mm. yo whatever tusker paid that man mm. i heard it diamond was worth the money? i heard diamond <laughs> was the highest paid mm. they flew this nigga in on a private jet first of all mm. i have something to say about that we always talk about oh like xyz is is cutting raising for whoever mm. and I, i'm just like does it really matter who you're cutting raising for if you're the highest paid no. the conversation is not just about our own artists need to finish the show it's also about them getting paid the same wage mm. that these international exactly right mm. so if 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 diamond is getting paid i heard like something close to 20 mil mm. flew in in a private jet 20 mil what Tanzania. kenya shillings to do what? <laughs> I, to, to come and do his simba shit on stage are you serious? I, I don't know if that's no, the actual figure, on. but like that's what I heard. Nah. But then, even if he didn't even get paid mm. the twenty mil, this nigga mm. got flew in in a private jet. I'm, I'm not even sure there's any Kenyan artist who's ever thought of demanding, even if it's like local shows, mm. right? Mm. Who's ever thought of demanding something like that? So I'm just like, if if you're 
paid the highest and you start the show it doesn't fucking matter no mm. you still got your fucking bag right yeah. the the person who performed last might be paid like 20 times less than you and yes oh my god yes a kenyan closed the show mm. end of the day is still not equal still not the same mm. so anyway i heard some people were 50 50 about diamond's performance they were like oh it was That's bullshit all, he wasn't performing so. other guys were like great show i don't know i wasn't there i can't speak on it nyashinski yeah. though yeah, fuck I, honestly He should have been paid what Diamond was paid cuz <laughs> Nyashinsky brought out Kleptomaniacs, he mm. brought out Femi One, brought out Calligraph and brought out Juma Jokes. Mm. And like he he owned that fucking stage. It, it's almost like he felt he was like, "Oh, Rongrende is going to perform after me. Y'all going to do that to me?" <laughs> Nyashinsky, the go. Oh, he yeah. said, "I hold my beer." Cause that nigga performed like <laughs> his I life. Get I get what you're talking he about. He performed like his life depended wow. on it. I'm not even like a diehard Nishinsky. Mm. This was, I think, like maybe the third time that I'm watching him perform. Mm. Um, earlier this year, he performed at Blankets, and still I was like, oh my god, what the fuck is going on? Because mm. at the Blankets set felt more lovey dovey. Was your partner type, and like niggas were there crying, holding mm. each other and shit. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what like is this not Nishinsky? Yeah. And then the the Tasco. Oktoberfest said felt like a a mix of he brought us out he sold too first of all ladies panties were like soaking when so the soul got on stage you know i was a little far from the stage but like everyone is going crazy so i'm like yo what's up what's up what's up they like so soul is on stage i'm like yo the ladies are just in there for like three minutes just okay. i'm like yo nyashinsky knew exactly what the fuck he was doing okay but they set our boys up because you come from Beyonce mm. and then to who to who to who <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god to oh. who from Beyonce to honestly there's Andele Andele mommy yeah yeah oh <laughs> what's poppin' the night I'm, I'm I'm trying I'm trying to find an artist that would be a nah, fair you're gonna be, okay. comparison i don't think there is okay. uh, but what i'm saying is like nashinsky's level of performance i felt like i was on some world tour nice with all those appearances well done well done that's so amazing. for him to come from for ebl to come from that and then say the show is closing out with wrong rende <laughs> it made sense I've, hold on it, it made, makes sense probably made sense because tell me how the, this this boys have been like making so much noise in terms of like you know crowd anticipation mm-hmm. i don't know about their performance I've, i've only been to one of their performances that I, i didn't like it but when you talk to people outside everyone is like yeah this is the guys that need uh, that show you need to these watch the, exactly these are the people why didn't that, you like their performance uh it was like too many niggas on stage mm-hmm. yeah or like yeah some of you if if you don't have a mic step the fuck out because yeah, i feel like this is let me tell you why it makes sense it, mm-hmm. it seems like all of these performances we feel like it's the same people it's the same same lineup blah 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 so yeah. they decided to okay this stage is for the fresh cats mm-hmm. who are com- they're not even that fresh but here's your platform here's your chance yeah. we're yeah. not just saying oh we'll, we'll give you a shot mm-hmm. but you have all the biggest stars opening for you so now yeah. is your time yeah. like, to shine shoot your shot yeah. why so do I you think, deserve to be on the same think, stage yeah, as yeah, these yeah. so i think that kind of like made sense because everyone you talk to in terms of like the local hip hop underground scene guys are like these are the guys we no, want to see no there are definitely kings yeah. of these are the underground yeah. these are definitely the guys we want to see definitely kings of hip hop right now yeah, these are the guys we want to see so i think the the whoever planned for this wanted them to had been listening to the people to the people yeah well i'm just i'm just going to say this i think <sighs> Oh my god. Somebody let I'm just going to say this, okay? Mm. And and obviously everything yeah. that I'm saying right now, I'm saying it with a lot of It's love. It's okay. Like, just say what people are thinking. It was a big mistake. D- it definitely shouldn't have happened like that because maybe we wanted it more than they did. It's yeah. almost like they got used to performing yeah. and you know like getting big checks because they've been on tour with with Tuska for a minute throughout like different counties and shit. Oh, okay. So, honestly coming from Nishinsky, everybody's hype, everybody's looking at the stage, right? Mm. You would expect that they would be like, "Oh my god. Like, what Showtime. are we going to do?" Cuz honestly, I, the whole time I was watching Nishinsky, I was like, "Oh my god, how are my boys doing backstage?" Oh, no. mm. I was like, "Can they hear how lit the crowd is?" Oh, But no. then also knowing them and how proud they are, they were probably like, "This ain't shit." Yeah. Like, we going to show them what's yeah. up, okay? Um, can yeah. I offer so, some pushback? Mm-hmm. Sure. 
this is just me playing devil's advocate, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. These guys have been, you're saying they've been doing rounds with Tasca for a while. Mm-hmm. And then they know this is like their biggest show. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. So maybe during rehearsal. If there over- were any. Were there? If there were any. Maybe they overdid it. <laughs> maybe they, they overdid the rehearsals. And maybe that's why people's voices are going. Nah, first of all, that's a, that's a whole other different conversation. <laughs> Again, we say this with love because honestly, this is a conversation that is always, you know, in my ear, mm. in groups that I'm in. Even right now on social media, people have started picking up on it. Mm. People are just like, fam, you guys fumbled that chance. Everybody's eyes were on you and it just sounded like you guys were not prepared. Mm-hmm. On top of like there being too many uh, people on stage, actually that doesn't even matter, right? If it's like a little coordinated. You remember when Kanye dropped all day? Mm. I think it was at the VMAs or something and he had like 50 niggas on stage. But it was beautiful chaos. Mm. It wasn't like, what the fuck is happening on stage? Yeah. It looked like mm. I'm a nigga rolling with my gang of niggas, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But then this one, it felt like I'm a nigga rolling with my gang of niggas, but some of these niggas lit some of these niggas that might be dancing like this one is right at the front of the stage who's ka who's suicidal yeah. who's some songs were played back some were performance tracks um and when it came to like you know munga l- losing his voice and shit i think like from what i've seen the feedback that i've been seeing on social like guys were very disappointed that this is the guy that sings all the hooks yeah mm-hmm. he sings all the choruses this is what we love him for and the 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 the, the three thousand or maybe the season pass that i've paid for mm. for you to come and sing this shit live mm. nigga you ain't got your voice mm. and i was a little far from the stage and I, but I could still tell this nigga was drunk like even in the comments on twitter guys are like when is munga ever gonna perform sober like when are we ever gonna see this nigga on stage and you know i think the the hurtful thing about that conversation is like some of these old school rappers are also like that we see their trajectory they're just acting like some of these guys who are at the top but then they got involved in drugs and alcohol and whatever mm. and they ruined their careers mm. so like honestly someone needs to check on my boy munga and just i don't know i don't know if they're even checkable at this point <laughs> right because like you'll tell them do this or or you try to give some feedback and they will they'll do whatever they want at the end of the day because this mm. is where they're at and some of the fans will will write and be like oh my god we still love them as they are mm. but like you know artistry everything has a peak when you're at your highest that's the time you're supposed to be like laying the foundation for when you're not going to be at your highest mm. that's when you're supposed to be building relationships with corporates and you know mm. like building up on your fan base securing like you know yeah individually they put in so much yeah. work this year and last year they just yeah. put in so much work that this should have been a culmination they have a honestly manager? apparently yeah they do have a manager who was i, I don't even know if if yeah. like somebody needs to sit them down and be like okay that's what but everybody that's keeps right. saying but then you know they're not checkable you can't you, you, can't. you can't check them you you uh, like we were talking about this ruby because they're gonna them. be like in front of you they're gonna be like yeah 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 we're like okay let's meet tomorrow here too yeah no, yeah, there yeah, are yeah, things yeah, called yeah contracts like if you don't fulfill the fucking contract then you don't what? get paid what do you mean you can't check them who the fuck are they yeah, that's between now the client. But what what Ruby's talking about is mm. somebody who is responsible to like well, make sure, sure that they, the group. Yeah, which is the manager, which is yeah. the guy who's yeah. going to be so telling that's them. That's what I'm saying. It's impossible. When we go, the manager perform, is, is their friend. Yeah. It's like someone in the crew. When and I don't we are think performing, that's they are targets. These targets should be met. If they are not met, we're not getting the bag. It's as simple as that. Yeah, I guess. I, so for me, when like seeing that shit on stage and knowing that it's been happening the same way, because like attend one Wakandali concert, you've gone to all of them. Mm. I'm left to wonder, like, what what is it like really behind the scenes when they're negotiating? Because mm. they pretty yeah, much me, knew they were gonna be like that on stage after Nyashinsky. Mm. Like, yes, they were listening to the people, or whatever. But like. This this wasn't the first time for them to perform, so they then, knew what was going to be happening, and I just felt like, I yo. just think that they're, they're still young. Somebody needs to put the bug in their ear. Uh, we can't. Some someone has to take responsibility. So if it's their manager or whoever is handling them, has to take that responsibility. Yeah, I really hope they can polish up on the on the performances because honestly, I just felt like 
Yo, it, they, I don't think there's going to be a bigger platform now. There's not going to be a bigger show because people have seen what the performance is. The whole country, and this thing was being streamed live. So you know, if no, if give, guys went on site, they definitely have chances. watched. No, 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 no. Okay. I don't. We're not saying that they would be canceled for it, mm. right? But it's like you, you how they say you have one shot, mm. and yeah. then if you fumble that shot, it's like the next time. Because, you know, at the end of the day, mm. these guys will still have their meeting after the event, like a post-mortem type thing. And they'll be like, oh, my God, social media is kind of going crazy about X, Y, Z, blah, 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 blah. Mm. And then maybe the next time that they will be suggesting it, it'll be like, are you guys sure after yeah. what happened? Sign his papers. Yeah. So sign, sign his documents. I mean, I, I feel like the, the journey is just beginning. They're only just getting hot for sure. Mm. Um, this is a brand that could... Um, has all the potential of going international. I feel like with with them sticking to the to to talk about what's happening in the hood and whatever is happening in their lives and you know not conforming and stuff, mm. they could be a great export if they're well put together. But you know, Guys, it's whoever needs to put them together. Listen up, is, is listen up, thing. and listen very carefully. There's, there are things called performance tracks. Those would have helped if your voice is gone. All you have to do. You have a performance track, it's doing your vocals, you point the mic to the crowd, let the crowd sing half of it, you try something, you see your voice is not working, point the mic back to the crowd, let your performance track help you out. Some of these yeah. things you don't have, it's not yeah. rocket science, you don't have yeah, to for go sure. to school for this. After after doing this shit for a while too, you would expect like, you know, yeah. at least. There are people who forget their whole verse on stage. Yeah, And it they happens. still pull it off yeah. by pointing the mic to the crowd. Yeah. They say one word, but oh shit, oh yeah. So that's it. Okay, you continue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I could have. I, I I don't know. I I just I'm I'm really hoping. Uh, and and then there, there was a conversation, obviously, that started if if they split, like you know, who would do the best? This mm. one person who said Ska would do very well as a solo artist. He has the potential of being one of the best rappers in Africa. Mm. I feel like I kind of agree with that. You mm. disagree? Not agree or disagree. I'm just saying. Whenever you're talking about this group, there are two elements that really st stick out. Mm -hmm. One of them is ska, right? Mm -hmm. And the other one is their, their choruses. Munga. Yeah. So if, if the chorus is not there, might not hit the same way you think it will hit. Okay. So breaking up should not be the next uh, solution. Just figure out how to get all of them. But if you can't the corral team. them exactly, if you can't corral Have them on the same, tried. they've yeah. tried. They've yeah. tried for themselves, yeah. right? So now they each have and individual albums that they it could work individually. But people want to see this. them together. Yeah, so yeah, they've they've sold themselves selves as a unit. But I feel like you know everybody there can, has the potential of literally doing their own thing and still be being like okay. Yeah. Mm. And even when they do decide like okay, we've all done our own thing, we've toured or whatever, then we want to come back and still do a joint thing yeah but it was still work together. they're all loved okay. everyone is loved you know differently other people were saying suicide is the one who needs to you know stay away from all that shit and just you know brand himself package yeah, himself and and get himself out there you know i have another so, solution yeah i have another solution what's it what's this for the guy who does the choruses to munga. be yeah it's called munga mm -hmm. to just be doing reference tracks you just come up with this with the chorus and then you sing it to someone and be like this is what i want you to do on stage on some drake shit uh, okay so you become like the you created no 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 because no we're not about that we know him already and and also right, and also that's up. that's literally when when it comes to like group dynamics people do say that that's his strong point mm. so like as a munga fan you probably love him because of how the he chorus comes choruses. together exactly so if i'm on stage and in somebody else is singing the chorus i'll be like yo where the fuck is my exactly where i need he's to also see got his own vibe that exactly. someone else can't translate that. exactly okay yeah i would just you know i'm just trying to help whoever I'm is going to, to check him needs to check them i still i still love them i'm still like a work i did not stand for of course sure. i just feel like i'm invested i talked about these niggas too many times you me i just feel <laughs> to back down now yeah, yeah 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 i'm still i'm still riding with the boys right but definitely like i feel like they should you know be open to some criticism and also be real with themselves if you feel like you dropped the ball yeah. Then you should Come definitely and, and, and just be like I, online. I'll be like, "Fuck all y'all!" Like our shit was good, but then backstage, I'll be like, "Niggas." 
No, like not even you do. online. Just apologize to your fans and be like, it was that a bad also. day. It was that a bad also. day at the office. We will do better next time. Yeah. Especially when you... Factual. You know? Factual. You, you, you haven't made it. I'm sorry. Yeah. Some of you guys probably think you've made it because yeah. you bought a pair of sneakers last week. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. There's more to life than that. I'm just so, yeah, I hope I hope they can get their shit together in talk good to time your fans, when they still have it. Apologize. The bags will not always be there. Yeah. And and that Jongrende Kiburi might be need yeah. to be checked at the just, point where yeah. the bags are not even coming in anymore and no one will touch you. Exactly. And that would be yeah. the problem. The we moment, don't want to see that. At the moment, you just need to talk to your fans, be like it was a bad day at the office. We will do better next time. And then and actually, and actually do don't better. actually do Don't just be saying shit. Yeah. And Can even yeah. organize a, 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 a concert of your own just to show people like, okay. Oh, this they is what did we that get. before. They did that? Yeah, nigga. It was the same shit. Oh, even when they organize themselves? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> so this is like a... Then why are we here trying to... <laughs> That's why I said, are they checkable? Because this is not the first time that stuff like that is coming up. Is there any other group that sounds like them that we can, you know, promote? Nah, there's only one wrong Rende. Come on. Yeah. There's only one Wakadinali. Okay, we we'll talked to about these niggas yeah. for like half an hour. But I mean, they better they better watch their backs actually it's, because it's, there it's was that time. Love because honestly, it would be so bad for for these guys to, you know, I remember the first interview. You remember like them coming up and struggling to get airplay to the point the whole country is talking about you. For you to come from not having it to having it to losing it and having to start all over again, knowing that it's going to be so much harder to start. Then yeah, I'm, I'm, that's a whole situation. I'm afraid uh, this mic of yours. If we can just adjust it, Kitogo, because you're looking this direction, yeah, okay. just in case. Okay. I don't, head for, I don't do. Yeah, so that's that. With love, of course, you yeah. know they can. It's it's gonna be taken with a grain of salt, but everybody's Unguzeni speaking kiburi. behind. Everybody's saying it behind closed doors. Don't want to be part of the gossip no, me, when we s- can. I'm going to say it here. Punguzeni viburi. Oh, ee man, man. ee ee tabia ki man united ee muache mna chapo mabao mambo ni matatu. Eh. Hizi mambo mambo ni matatu. Unchemsha for sure. Yeah, All right. So, yeah, we was Smooth. What else is let's popping? Uh let's keep it 254, yeah? Yeah. Mm. Uh Grammy nod. Grammy consideration. Right, consideration. Okay. Yeah. That's Butros. Mm. Yeah, 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 Butros. I seen um like today in the some music group or yesterday Musal sends in that poster mm. for the Butros Grammy consideration. Yeah, last mm. time we were talking about that and mm-hmm. then you were talking was about a conversation. Mas. It was oh. Afri Maz. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, everything good on the Grammy front? So apparently, um, w- I was finding out that the Grammy consideration is for Angela, right? With Juice Angela Man. Angela and mm. Lamu Nights. Uh, yeah, so there's, for Butros, it's uh, Best African Music Performance and then Best Global, best global Music Performance yeah. for Angela. And then Lamu Nights, uh, f- uh, what album? Mm. Something so like that. Do, so do Grammy consideration actually mm. is... Um, is when you submit your project to the academy so that they can vote on it mm-hmm. on whether it's going to be a nominee. Mm. So you haven't gotten oh, okay. to the nomination okay. stage just yet. Yeah, okay. just you're submitted. asking, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're submitting your shit. You'll be like, okay, I have some shit here that you could mm. probably consider. So this is not even Okto's first time to actually submit. submit. Yeah, mm. he's been doing this for a while. I think since way back when we didn't even think, yeah. you know, Grammys would take in maybe Kenyan artists. Mm. And I like that he keeps trying, yes. which means also like, you know, when he's making his music, he's making his music thinking about, you know, a global stage like that. Yep. So good luck to both uh, Boutros and um, Octo. Octo. Octo still needs to come sit on his couch. I know we're still small. Pause, but you need to be <laughs> on this couch. Grow another show. Yeah, yeah, come, come to the couch, man. We're we're growing. We're growing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right. Uh huh. What uh, else is happening? Still two five four though. Keep Choge and his statue Ooh. at the Nike headquarters. Yeah. The swoosh. It looks good. It, it does looks, look good. You know, good. everybody keeps saying how uh, Kipchoge has like an attitude problem. Mm. Like the oh f- he. <laughs> the first thing I saw was that he doesn't give interview to local to media. local media. And somebody gave a very interesting rebuttal. 
Mhm. Lakini nataka ndio muende muulize katika nani anaweza kimbia. Vera Sidika. That's Caroline Spencer. I like that she she is so unhinged. She was like at least with international media you will avoid questions like can Vera Sidika run? I'm just why That oh was so God, funny. Yeah. But yeah, I just I feel like I'm I'm down with Kipchoge's um you know success never ending success and made continue mm. um i don't know people say his gait keeping and he doesn't allow other athletes to train and shit like that and it's like how you like how Who stops how you, you going to do training? that you Listen, know in that part of town i remember there was there was a time we were doing a project when 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 nakumat was still around so we were doing a project for nakumat we going countrywide went to eldoret my friend asubui Around four in the morning. What yeah, what can be? Hey, what yeah. what can be? No one can stop you from training you can unless train maybe those anywhere. Yeah, unless you're talking about now in the gyms where like maybe he owns a gym and he doesn't want you to. Yeah. But this, most of these guys don't really train in the, in gym. the gym. Like you're outside run. in the trees and the They hills. You guys, run. when it comes to like you have to run on the terrain you're going to eventually be doing it on. Mm. So I do understand how that is possible, right? No. Yeah. Like oh yes, oh it's Kipchoge time so you can't between this mm. hour to this hour I understand yeah, that but maybe it's not if even he's, a- if he's bought himself that amount of uh, equity then yeah you wait for your time yeah get your shit get up get your shit up yeah don't uh, to get keeping shut the fuck up also, like, I believe just, it on some level I believe it y- yeah even if but I, do, whatever, I don't blame him I, I mean I do, listen when people had like um no training grounds granted that you would have to train on the ground that you needed when there weren't like state of the yeah. art facilities yeah, and shit what did niggas train at yeah. like we you still had before, to get your hours in and we were regardless. winning more than we are now see with the, with all the gyms and everything so regardless no one you is, still have to get no one your is hours in and if he does maybe he's bought himself that amount of uh, clout clout <laughs> yeah. so get your You should up give there. yourself some time yeah. you're going to get there you're going to get, get there, there yeah, when it's going to be your forever. turn you know it's going to be <laughs> your turn soon like relax some of these guys who are running yeah they are super young super yeah. they don't look young yeah. but we're but told they they, they, yeah we told somebody is 23 i'm like huh how <laughs> for sure for real <laughs> yeah yeah all yeah. right yeah. um there's a bill to do dec- what decriminalize prostitution, prostitution. yeah and, yes. save, and save marriages that woman alifkiria cj come ah over there she thought <laughs> apple we can buy one beer for you no listen one no. in the house huh? i mean just because it's legal doesn't mean you can do it and just no the thing is uh What do you mean if it's legal you can't do it? No, I d- when you're like married just because now prostitution is going to be like oh shit, I was just chilling with my favorite hoe. You know how it is. Like <laughs> No, but you you know what 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 uh prostitution prostitution the role it plays in in marriages. It saves marriages. Sure. Yeah, it does. But I mean I don't think that's why they were like oh it's okay. Exactly. No, no, no. You know, not, that's what I'm, I'm saying. Not, I'm not saying that's the reason. I'm just saying like for guys I think that's that's a good look oh god it's a I, good well, look well for women who are the foundation of the whole institution of prostitution then i mean if they're making and it an official business, business like you can yeah. tax me Get the but cool, let me do it yeah yo now now actually now you see because we're we're living in a country where the government is trying its very best to make sure that everyone is anything taxed. so yeah. you know the crazy amount it's not even about the women who are actually sex workers it's about how the government can make some more money yeah, off, money its, yeah, yeah, yeah. off its people so yeah. you know the taxes are going to be crazy yeah. they'll But probably be like oh you have to be like some part of uh, of like an agency, uh, agency. or yeah. you can't be on the streets because you yeah. know that they doesn't look build, good you have to pay the city council to yeah. do how they have to do it's gonna what, be what they do in uh netherlands i think mm-hmm. where like have proper brothels yeah people can yeah. you know But I think that also protects you, yeah, right? Yeah, protects them and also instead of sure. you being a victim to a pimp who really can is basically a, a slave master. Yeah. 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 So, so I think you have it's to pay a little bit of tax to go sell the box. Yeah. You do what you got to do. We're we're here like working saying like all these agencies really work. Okay. 
cool. No. I know. <laughs> Hypothetically, in a, it has to start in a perfect from somewhere. world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It you has know, to like, start from somewhere. You know, they're legalizing that shit without thinking things through. Then once once it's legal, and you're like, okay, I do be popping, and then this is my rate. You'll be like, oh, okay, so KRA is now watching you. Like, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. It's like basically they're already going, watching exactly, yeah. exactly. They're just waiting. They're, they're just waiting. Yeah. Okay. It's cool. At the same time, I don't know, where did you say it was? Where there was students who were uh, being arrested for, in, a, in their own private, like, place, right? Mm-hmm. No, but uh, don't, for filming. For filming porn. I don't know, porn, yeah. Yeah, that one, I mean. Or whatever it was. I don't know if it was actually for money or whatever, but they were in their private home. The neighbors were like, oh, there's people the, fucking next door. And, and then they were arrested. And their equipment was confiscated. Yeah, if you find cameras, yeah, you're going to think they were shooting Making porn. money, yeah. yeah. But if it was just like there was no camera and somebody was screaming, they're right? fucking. Like, if you come to so my house, like, nigga, I was fucking. Right? <laughs> but then, what, exactly. So what's the difference? Like, maybe I'm just filming it for me to watch later. Like, no, what's the that, actual difference? The, I don't think that, that is allowed either. Filming for yourself. I can't have sex in my own house? You can, you can but you can't film date. it. I can't film it? You're not supposed to. People do it, but... I don't think it's a... <laughs> no, that's I not a lie. You're making it, it up now. Nah, nah, you're somebody making it up. Let me just Google that shit If somebody quick. asks you, why are you filming it? For me to watch later. No. <laughs> they don't... They, you can't prove that. It but you can't prove that I'm making money off it. That's what I'm saying. Like, Wait, when the thing that brought great? you here is because someone said I was having sex, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's pretty much... So you open the door so naked this? and you're like... Hello, Yo, can people, I help you? Hold up, these people are making a phone flick in that room. I yeah. I mean, they actually had an explanation because according to the article I was reading, mm. uh, they were like, yeah, we were just trying to make an uh, extra buck. These were students, right? So they were like, Shit. we're just trying to make an extra buck. They were like, get into the truck. We're going to the jail. <laughs> he, he, Didn't he, want to he, hear no excuses <laughs> about money. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. So the, w- did they say how they were trying to make the extra buck? Like put it on a porn site or only I mean, surely. How else? Yeah. But you know that is illegal. It's not illegal in the rest of the world. But we're not living in the rest of the world. But now that's Kenya. what we're saying. You're trying at the same time, you're trying to legalize prostitution. But meanwhile, <laughs> sex workers were doing it in their own privacy of their own homes. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm saying like it, even the legalizing hasn't happened yet so we can't yeah jump you can yeah, get into yeah. it just just yet. wait for it to start and then you know i want to know what right they had coming to your house to even bother you what right do you have making too much i'm noise. allowed to Actually, a noise complaint a noise complaint is one thing yeah so you're making noise so you're taken in for noise pollution yeah so you knock on the door you're like keep it down keep it down no, noise pollution. <laughs> nah, come never. on. Noise never. Pollution. <laughs> never is like, yo, you can't be out here making that much noise. People need to know their rights. You need to stand your ground. Facts. I know that's hard stuff because our police aren't going to hear nothing. Mm. Actually, they like. like it when you challenge them like yeah. that. So they know, oh, Where shit, we got a smart one. Yeah, yeah. We gotta, so we'll show you. The harder they're going to beat you. Yeah. 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 They oh, get into your cars now. I saw that guy, the city council guy who got into that lady's car. It's like now we don't even know what's happening. At he's first, no boundaries. Were, yeah, at, at first they were like, yo, that's blah, 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 blah. Now he's a hero. Guy what? looks polished. <laughs> he's even taking pictures. He's what? Like, yeah. He's Kenyans. like a model now. Like, yo. Kenyan. They show you the before and after picture. Before he was dusty as fuck. <laughs> now, after that's why that That's car, why a lot of people are saying that thing was scripted. Like, really? it, yeah. Some people are saying, like, yeah, this thing is actually pretty much staged. Like, they know what they were doing with that. But then also knowing Kenya. Oh, in the name of uh, content creation. Yeah. That shit, uh, it, I, it's the most annoying thing. I'm, like, yeah. it's annoying. I saw somebody trying to prank a lady. Like, uh, if I touch your boobs, I give you a thousand. She was like, no. If I touch your boobs, I give you two thousand. She says, no, No, fifteen hundred says no the guy's like okay i'm giving you 2k and i touch your boobs she's like okay cool <laughs> then the guy's like oh it's a prank <laughs> that chick poured whatever she had i think it was milk or something on yo him. so the guy is there. like that the guy is there actually it's a prank it's a prank like guys have made it so that once you say it's a prank it's supposed to be okay like yeah. I'm also, yeah it's a prank so it's okay now i, I Yo, can do whatever i do to uh, you you don't even know where i'm coming a, from nigga i'm cracking your muffin 
stressed I don't care as if I'm going to jail or whatever the fuck. I'm cracking your muffin and you it's a prank it's a prank to find out who it was crazy. a prank that's crazy that's crazy alafu ni onyesha kwa ile katiba mahali kuna sema ukiwa when you're being pranked you're supposed to just chill and let yeah. it happen that's, that's some bull you niggas need to stop this shit seriously yeah. okay it let's stop for Sorry. for a couple of months when they were doing that stuff on tv also i feel like pranks yeah. let's not involve money death whatever like yeah. we're, we're living in in high pressure times right yeah. now everybody is getting like, fucked by the government the taxes all that shit right yeah. so if you tell me i have you know these people will be like i'll give you 500 if you let me like Touch your slap face. you yeah, yeah. Oh, and then i'll be like all right cool do it because now i'm thinking at least my I kid need, can need, get to yeah. eat and we haven't eaten shit for the past three of days course. so let's not play about that like let's do other shit you of know course. like something to make people laugh yeah things yeah. that can make people laugh like but shit. that don't really affect the other person in a very negative because even yeah. the, the other stuff they do like startling somebody in the street mm-hmm. somebody can catch a heart attack yeah then what or maybe or someone's an epileptic and then and you they, get a seizure yeah. and shit or you find it's me like i you scare <laughs> me and I, whatever is next to me is a weapon yeah find a fucking a frying pan and smack the shit out of your face <laughs> Yo, we still have a couple more uh things to touch on 254 but I feel like let's move out of mm. 254 right now. Oh, okay. Uh just just give it a break. Mm. Mm-hmm. Then we can um, come back. Yeah, let's talk about world news stuff. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Also a big occurrence that happened this weekend was Chandler Bing is no longer. Oh no. man, that was yeah, rest Matthew in peace, Perry, man. not Chandler Bing. I say that jokingly because we all watched friends. Yeah. Uh but Matthew Perry is passed yeah. away. Rest in peace, rest in peace. And really the only reason that's important is because Well, did you guys watch Friends? Yeah, I did. I did. You watch Friends? Yes. Okay. That, well, well, that's the story then. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think I would watch Friends? Nah. I didn't follow it up like the way guys were following like, yeah. Uh, yeah, but I watched a few every episodes. Now, every now and then. I used to yeah. like the other guy. What's his name? Joey. The guy, the guy who used to play dumb. Yeah. Joey. Was it Joey? Yeah. yeah. I used to like he was stupid. Like he was just like super dumb. But I I like the way he used to act. Yeah. Um He even there was even a spin-off of his uh Yeah, it was a flop. Yes. It wasn't a flop. The, the it, Joey, was, it was it was actually Joey, right? the, yeah yeah yeah. yeah the British one. It, it, it wasn't a flop. It was I, I like I the British it. one, yeah. I loved it. I, I loved it. D- I don't think it did great. It did because he went a couple of seasons. Okay. Yeah, he went at, There was at no, I think we're talking two different ones. Joey's. Right? There was the Joey spin-off from Friends mm-hmm. and then there was the one that oh, he was acting, that British one like you're saying. Yeah, yeah, I that think one. that was a different one. Really? I think because yeah. i like the british one yeah because they use the same premise like yeah, yeah, his, yeah. his joy from friends yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. like that okay all right yeah rest in peace man rest in peace to matthew mm-hmm. perry uh yeah mm-hmm. we literally watched that happen though like you could see him physically change like mm-hmm. morph into different people mm-hmm. yeah. every time he was doing an interview at uh, different seasons and stuff mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. okay so we yeah he, he had he had um it struggled with like drug issues again mm-hmm. artistry and and that so like i think they said um when he was actually filming friends he was hooked on i forget the drug name but mm. i think it's like painkillers or sleeping pills mm. so throughout that season like he had his highs and lows um but you know lately he had been you know he had been on the clean path i think because mm. the the reports about his death are no foul play it's it's almost like he drowned or mm. something okay yeah so damn we don't have any further information at this point this but the, the acting and artistry and drugs those two because mm-hmm. there's another guy also what's this guy uh the guy for two and a half men charlie sheen charlie sheen yeah yeah he was he's i don't know how he's this doing white right powder now. yeah yo know. there's a there's a video that i saw i think earlier this year and, and i couldn't believe it was him mm. until like it, it it you know how the transformation the edit and then it shows like a younger version i was like yo no way mm. he yo it, 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 yo yeah so anyway. yeah let's Whoa. take care of ourselves mm-hmm. i know like you know artistry is hard and it's i think it's the the easiest place to fall into you know addiction and drug problems mm. but like you know 
still in this day and age where we where like the world is a village and we can talk to each other and shit mm. you know don't, you don't have to battle your shit by yourself yeah you say that while there's an ambulance wailing in the background <laughs> if that's not premonition <laughs> you feel me yeah. you are gonna die if you keep doing <laughs> drugs so like let's just take care of ourselves yeah. better for sure uh, but speaking of art also Lil Wayne with his oh, uh, wax figure at Madame Tussauds <laughs> <laughs> the one he's he said he didn't look like he was like sorry I like, good see try again, but I that shit the- ain't me <laughs> yeah. like that was funny because honestly it's such a nah it's it's funny yeah <laughs> let us know if you saw it did you I didn't see it yeah, yeah. what your thoughts were oh this is the uh, it was a little bit disproportionate I but I can't this, tell if I that's the what photo it was. I thought it was somebody trying to uh, nah I feel like that you know they the you have like some third world guy trying to be Tupac or something. I thought yeah. it was like a third world guy no. trying to be. Yeah. This is the actual this statue. This is a figure ring. Yeah. Yeah, wax figure. Oh my God. But this is at a museum where people pay good money to go and see it and take stand next to it, take photos with it. <laughs> but he, it looks, and, but then the, but the, I'm sorry, the, the other one. kind of looks better than him. He <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. He kind of look better than. Have you seen? Oh, only looks? only because he's smiling. Yeah. Because we clean. don't get we yeah yeah we don't get a lot of that from from Weezy. <laughs> Honestly, like, yeah, <laughs> it, it kind it looked funny. It looks because maybe height, maybe height maybe wise, maybe like if it had on a different outfit, yeah. then he would be like, all right, that's my shit. But then you know, Weezy just be dressing however the fuck it wants yeah. to dress. I saw him courtside with, with his kid over the weekend. Mm. No basketball is back, yeah? Yeah. Hold on. I forgot to 